A competition like this really propels the industry and builds the industry to, you know, reach even more people. The recreational marijuana industry has had a lot of success so far here in New Mexico. Hundreds of new businesses, thousands of workers, and millions of dollars in sales just within the first 14 months since legalization. Now that these local manufacturers are up and running, it's time to find out which companies are crafting the best products. Griffin Russian has more on that for us tonight, getting an inside look at this statewide competition. And Griffin, this all got started this morning. Yeah, there is a lot of excitement for this, Tommy. It's called the Cannabis Cup. Dozens and dozens of manufacturers and sellers here in New Mexico are pitting their products against one another to find out who's doing it the best. High Times Magazine is behind the contest, which started in Amsterdam and has gradually hopped between states here in the U.S. where marijuana is legal before finally landing in New Mexico this year. Now, of course, the winners of each category will receive their own Cannabis Cup trophy, but organizers and competitors say that's not the only prize. To see this happen, it's going to put New Mexico on the map. Dozens of cannabis enthusiasts lined up inside Enchanted Botanicals Saturday morning to officially enter New Mexico's very first Cannabis Cup competition. It is, again, like the Oscars of cannabis. Like the Oscars, the competition is broken down into 11 categories based on the type of product. Think sativa flower, infused pre-rolls, and edible gummies. But unlike the Oscars, it's everyday New Mexico filling out the ballots. Anybody from the OG growers who know how to talk about terpene profiles to the soccer moms who are trading out their glass of wine for a joint at the end of the night, we want their comments, their feedback. Judges are asked to consider how products look, taste, smell, feel, and especially how well they work. They have two months to try all the samples and submit their feedbacks online, but some judges already got a head start. We just tried the uh, Fiji Sunset, and that one, was, that one was really good. And they have some high standards. We try to pay attention to, to the flavor of the smoke, the quality of the smoke, um, how it affects us. We take it seriously, you know, we really want to make sure that people know what the best selection is out there. This is one of the judging kits. There are 16 samples of locally made edibles inside, including these ocean water gummies from farmers. Only one of these will be crowned the best in New Mexico, and organizers say that comes with more than just bragging rights. And when people get this, it has skyrocketed these brands into way more uh, than what they've been before. For example, in Oklahoma, a small mom and pop shop win best edibles for an infused pickle, and they've told us that they have boosted their sales and expanded their brand tenfold. Albuquerque-based Farmers Quality Concentrates entered their products in nine categories, and the owner is feeling pretty confident. We don't make anything that tastes bad. We believe that, um, you know, a lot of products out there have like a bad aftertaste, so we specifically formulate our edibles to not have any cannabis taste in them. He believes these PB and J white chocolate peanut butter cups will be a front runner in one of the edibles categories, hopefully opening a door to markets outside New Mexico. Having a high times cup under your belt makes it a lot easier to take your products across the country. You have almost like an immediate validation like, hey, we've already won a high times cup. We're good. We meet a certain standard of quality. But earning that validation is all up to the judges. I'm going to keep it open mind. Um, I, I really want to see an underdog here become a top dog. There are about 185 different entries in New Mexico's competition. The roughly 2,000 judge kits went on sale this morning at about two dozen dispensaries across the state. But organizers say they usually sell out fast, so there might not be many left at this point. High Times is planning to announce the winners during a live show in Rio Rancho this September. So nice hardware for whoever's winning those awards. Always good. All right, thank you, Griffin.